Hi everyone, welcome. Hopefully there's some people there, it'd be a bit awkward if there wasn't. Um, hi, welcome to the fifth day of the UK Grad Festival 2020. I hope you're loving it as much as I am so far. Um, before I get started, just to say if you could follow their social media on Twitter, it is at Grad Fringe Fest and on Instagram, Grad Fringe Festival. Um, yes, yeah, so I am Natalie Blair. Um, I am a graduate from Alra North. I was on the acting course. This is the first thing that I have directed. Um, so I'd just like to say a huge, huge thank you to the cast of Passion Killers have been so patient with me and for also Liam and Alice for giving me this opportunity to push myself and challenge myself. Um, before we do get started I'd also like to mention that we are raising money for two amazing charities Black Lives Matter UK and Industry Minds. Um, we are asking for a suggested donation of two pounds but obviously we know that not everybody can give that so we'd suggest that you donate your time um, researching the websites and just looking into the cause would really appreciate that so thank you um, the reason that I chose this play was because the sun was shining and I thought oh I could just do with a holiday right now and I feel like that is kind of the all-around feeling of the country right now we'd all love to be on a beach somewhere with a drink and soaking up the sun so I do really hope that you enjoy it we are so looking forward to sharing this with you so Without further ado, sit back, get yourself some snacks. Um, I'd actually just like to say that we have got a slight interval for about 30, 40 seconds. Um, and the running time is around an hour and 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, get yourself those snacks and a drink. And without further ado, here is our version of Passion Killers. Tom and Gail are entertaining their friends, Andy and Lynn. They have just finished a large meal. They are drinking wine and coffee, very relaxed. They have been friends for some time and argue easily. They do. I don't believe you. They do. They don't. They can't. Well, of course they can. I don't believe you. Tom never lies, Andy. You should know this by now. They love each other. No matter what they said, they love each other. It's not love. You said to your mother, congratulations on making it to your Ruby wedding anniversary. And she said, never again. Well, I'm sorry, but that is not love. <laughs> what did your dad say? It was a joke. He stood there shaking his head. He couldn't believe they'd actually made it. <laughs> his parents are actually going for gold. Look, even they don't love anymore. For their Ruby wedding, my dad took my mum on the Orient Express. They never spoke to each other until Zurich. <laughs> He's a womanizer. It runs in a family. I like men with their own teeth. <laughs> oh, so I'm still in with a chance. <sighs> 40 years. We're all doomed. <laughs> I think there's something positive about it. Well, life has only got 25. I hope we don't last that long. Why? Why did they ever stay together? Must be for the sex. <laughs> what well, makes you think? It makes you think why any of us stay together. I think you look radiant tonight, Gail. Don't you think she does, Tom? He's awful. I can't control him. You look radiant as well, my darling. He's such a creep. We're sending each other crazy at the moment. We're not. <laughs> See what I mean? We're all right. It's just that we're ready for a break. I mean, last week it was the anniversary and, and Gail's tied up until July. We've got the bloody decorators in. We're at it non-stop. 
are you serious about having a break? What do you mean? Oh, I mean, how serious are you about having a break? Well, serious, why? He's going to Spain at the weekend. Well, I can't go without you. <laughs> of course you can. That's the whole point. I'd go without you. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> For a week in the sun. Tell you what, you go into the department. I'll go with Andy. It's a deal me and Gail get, please. <laughs> how, how long is it for? Ten days. He goes twice a year. It means I can have my mother over. How come there's a ticket? Patrick's dropped out. Well, how much is it? Oh, God, I'll pay for him. <laughs> it's a gift for Gail. No, we can't accept that. Look, I'm going to be golfing the whole time, so if you want to lounge about in the sun, it's there. As I see it, there's only one drawback. We have to share a room. Give Gail a break. Hey, when they're away, we could paint the town red. Where in Spain, Andy? Well, it's usually the Costa del Sol, but I couldn't get in, so it's Costa Blanca. Benidorm! That's a definite no. For golf? Altea Don Cayo. It's about five miles out. Fly to Alicante, hire a car, tee off at seven, back to the hotel. Actually, I was lucky to get booked in there. I took the last room they had. <laughs> back to the hotel, a few little drinkies, and then... <laughs> Benidorm. Tom, Spain's Blackpool. You'll love it. Very funny. Have you played much golf? How about none? Oh, the two of you out there. I can just imagine it. You'll have a riot. Non-stop arguing. I know, but, <laughs> but sharing a room? Have you got something that you don't want Andy to see, Tom? A spotty bum. <laughs> That's absolutely right. So it's on then, is it? Of course it is. Well, it doesn't seem right going away without Gail. Why? Doesn't she trust you? I do. Miles of sandy beaches, Tom. Strapping Germans and Swedes all over the Levante beach. It's looking good. Los San Miguel, por favor. Sun and sea. <laughs> He's packing. Clear, cloudless skies. He's at the airport. Miles of breasts on the beaches. Oh, I hate flying. He's checking in. Cocktails by the Rosamar pool. Oh, hmm. It's turbulent. Plastic <laughs> bag. A sunburn everywhere. We're coming into land. Yes. Yeah, but what, ab what about the golf? What? Oh, yeah, what happened to the golf? Oh, yeah, and if we have some time, we'll play some golf. <laughs> <laughs> Spain, night. We are in a hotel lobby area. Barbie, the club rep, is a young woman in her mid-twenties. She is very brown and extremely attractive. Ray, a very young man, enters. Hi! Hi, 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 hi! Come on, we're waiting. Where have you all been? You're going to miss all the fun. Get yourself up here. Gatwick! I can hardly breathe. <laughs> can you manage? Just about. I think the art's going to burst. How long are you here for? A fortnight. Are you on your own? On my own? Out here? No way. My mate Scott's still on bus. Well, what's he doing? Chatting up some women, probably. All right. Are you Gatwick? No. Fullwood. Ray Fullwood. No. Did you fly from Gatwick? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Gatwick, yeah. I thought you said, was my name Gatwick? What's it like in England? Some flights are delayed. As usual. What's the weather been like? It was 92 last week. Frying. That's right. 92. Ooh. What will it be this week? Hot. If I get any hotter, I'll pass out. Is this the right hotel? Yeah, this is the Rosamar. It's an overflow for club holidays. Most of them are over at the Victoria. There's just a few of you here, so... Best behaviour? No jumping off the balconies? You could avoid it. Is it going to be a busy fortnight? Don't you worry. I'll make sure of that. Scott, a very attractive, lean youth in his early 20s, enters. I'm here, everyone. The party has arrived. Are you with the club? 
With the club or in the club? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm with the club at the moment. But it can all change. Women love him. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Double hello. Are you here for the fortnight? No, nope, two weeks. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, well, there's a free drink at the bar, so we're running a bit late because of the delays. So, plans for tonight. Scott and Ray make themselves cosy among their cases. Barbie goes through the usual routine. So, because of the time, I suggest we dump the bags and have a quick splash. A quick what? <laughs> and then get back down here. The main hotel is the Victoria, and all of the facilities are yours to use, and obviously, because you're staying here, you can use all of the Rosemar facilities as well. The pool, the bar, anything. The pool here is bigger than the pool of the Victoria. Manchester flights have already gone down. When we go down to the old town, I'll show you everything. Oh, double hello. <laughs> we'll call in at Lennon's, Gigolos and Penelope's, which is really great. Then we can have a think about various activities that we can sign up for during the week. I suggest you all sign up for the Buggy Ride and Aqualand. They're pretty great. And then there's Rancho Grande, which is an absolutely outrageous barbecue where you can eat all you want and drink as much as you like and go completely crazy. It's great. And if there's anything that you want from me at any time, just give me a shout. Oh, and I'm Barbie. Oh, you certainly are. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how great is Penelope's Barbie? <laughs> it's really great, isn't it? Yeah. It's really great. Shall we go? Scott and Ray begin to get their belongings together. Barbie collects her belongings. Trish and Karen enter. Both are in their early 30s. About bleeding time. Is this it? Well, ask Come her on. over there. Come on, mate, let's lift the bags up and grab a beer. Hello. Goodbye. Ray and Scott exit. What a cock up, honest. We got on the bleeding young at heart bus. I looked, I could only see young, so we got on. Wishful thinking that way. Talk about laugh. Me and her are the only two on the bus under 50. I thought it were quiet. We couldn't pull anything on that, could we? You ain't got a fag, have you? I wondered about you. I thought you cancelled. Posh, innit? We got on the wrong bus. Have we got to see you? We should have. I'm dying for Lou. Singer and Ward? Karen and Trish. Right. Well, you're in the right place. For a change. Shall we get you checked in? We're meeting down here in ten minutes and then we're going downtown. All right, in at the deep end. Well, that's exactly what this club's all about. We're only on it because it's cheap. Good for you. And we don't want to enter the Miss Wet T-shirt competition. But what time does bar open? Be easy to tell you when it's closed. Um, do you think we'll be all right? Of course we will. We lied about our age at the travel agent. I'm 31. She's nearly 36. It's all right. I won't tell anyone. Enjoy it. You probably deserve it. More than you'd ever know. I'm telling you. So what sort of work do you do? I work for the health authority. In the laundry. And she's into condoms. I work in a chemist. <laughs> Listen to her. Well, it's true. I sell them. That's all. Well. You'll feel right at home here then, won't you? Excuse me, ladies. Let me through. I'm a doctor. Trish and Karen exit as Scott and Ray enter. They have a drink each. Right. We're ready. That was quick. Have you seen the pool? Yeah. <laughs> it's massive. Is it my maid, do you think? No, it's natural, you dick. It isn't. It's massive. I know. Where are we going first? Eager, aren't you? Oh, I've waited eight months for this. We booked it about five years ago. I've been counting the days. Five years? I'm making a point, you dollop. Why don't you get another drink and then we'll go down? <laughs> Are you trying to get me drunk? Hello. <laughs> Double hello. Scott exits. Barbie sits with Ray. Is your room okay? Dunno. I haven't had a chance to look at it. We dumped our bags and came straight down. We might put in the bog for all I know. <laughs> Have you decided what you're going to sign up for? Everything, I think. That's the spirit. Yeah, everything. You know it's extra though, right? 
oh, I've got the cash, haven't I? <laughs> I always sign up for everything. <laughs> Fish and Karen enter. Bleeding hell, it's all go, isn't it? You'll get used to it. No, no, I'm not complaining. That's oh. what we're here for. Hot, isn't it? This is Ray. Hello, Ray. Hello. This is Trish and Karen. Karen's into condoms. Oh, bleeding killer. You here for the fortnight? <laughs> no, 14 days. Oh, we are. <laughs> I'm knackered already. I don't think I'll be able to take the pace. You speak for yourself. Andy appears. He is wearing shorts and a shirt with sandals, no socks. Do you mind if I, uh, are the bars packed? Just arrived. About an hour uh, from Manchester. You're not with the club? Afraid not. Uh, you look all on a package then? A fortnight. Lovely. Not bad. Nice hotel from what we've seen. I want to look like an handbag when I go back. A few holes in one will suit me. Scott returns with another bottle of beer. All right. Yeah? You with us? Nope. Oh, I was going to say, bloody hell. I thought my dad had turned up. No problem. I thought, hello. <laughs> He's going to need a walk-in frame come the end of the week. <laughs> Oi, get that down your neck. Scott gives the drink to Ray. How long are you here for? Ten days. When are we going down to Lennon's then, Barbie? Yeah, put another shrimp on the Barbie, Barbie. Oggy! Oi! Oggy! Oi! Oggy, Oggy, Oggy! Oi, oi, oi! Tom enters. He looks rather less trendy than Andy. He wears sandals and socks. Where have you been? I still can't get through. I'll have to phone later. Are we going to get... Um, uh... This is Tom. Hello, Hello, Tom. Tom. Hello, Tom. Good job I didn't bring a cat. <laughs> Why is that? Well, I couldn't swing it in the bedroom, that's for sure. Tom Tom. What? Are you a drum? No, funnily enough. What are you then? Ray comes to stand in front of him. Oggy! What? Oggy! Oggy. What? Hey? Just say oi. Oi, what? Oggy, oggy, oggy! Oggy, oggy, oggy! Oh, you're not going to get it, are you? Uh, are we going to make a move? Can do. Nice in the pool, in the pool, in the pool! <laughs> in no. the pool! No! Oh, yeah, come on. Tom, grab her, you twat. <laughs> Don't throw me in. In the pool, in the pool, Please. in the pool! Don't! The rest laugh hopelessly. Ray picks up the chant and begins to join in. Scott and Ray grab Barbie. They grab her and throw her into the pool. Oh, it's a laugh, isn't it? He's bloody funny, that little Ray. Isn't he cute? Oh, they're going to be a right laugh, they are. Anyway. What do you do then? He used to be a teacher. <laughs> oh, I hate teachers for oh, them holidays. Barbie enters. She is completely soaked and very angry. I don't believe it. I really hope it's not gonna be one of these weeks because I've got a funny feeling that it is. I hate it. All of these shitty things and this stupid job. It's just one thing that I hate. Happens a lot then, does it? Occupational hazard. They've just thrown the waiter in. Could be anybody next. Ray and Scott enter triumphant. Hey, <laughs> come on, England! <laughs> I think we're in the wrong hotel. Okay. Let's get down to Lennon, shall we? Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I told you your luck was in, didn't I? <laughs> Come on, let's go see if Ringo goes down Lennon's. Karen and Ray exit. Barbie is about to exit. You two are welcome to join if you fancy a drink. She exits. Tom and Andy relax. Oh no, th this is what they all want. Are we going down? Are we hell? For a laugh. A laugh? Are you serious? What's the point? We can just... <laughs> There's 50 million bars. Why don't we find another one? It's, it's their territory. Let's leave it. It'll, it'll be a bloody jungle down there. They're just kids. We can handle them. Me and you. Look, you go if you want. Tell me all about it tomorrow and don't catch anything. Come on, eh? We're on holiday. <laughs> well, what about the golf? I thought we had to be up early. 
I know, but just this once. Oh, I've still got a phone, Gail. I'll call her tomorrow. Look, let's just go for an hour, just an hour. I mean, I'm wide awake anyway. We'll have a burger, have an hour and call that it. There's only one key. Well, I'll leave the door open. Come on. No. For a crack? No. Day, very bright. Andy is facing the heat, still dressed, feeling awful. Andy looks very rough. Tom enters. Oh. What time is it? 10 to 8. Never, never, ever again. I mean that. That's it. I'm utterly disgusted with myself. I'm banning myself from drink, discos and women. <laughs> I thought you went into discos. Don't. I've still got a ring gale. She'll have a fit. I'll tell you something. You scored a hit last night. Get away. With Trish. Don't. <laughs> Same again tonight, eh? No. You arranged to take him out. What? Well, then, if you hadn't have gone to university, you'd have married somebody like Trish. Why did we ever get married? Well, I mean, how about love? Give me five good reasons. I can't think of five. Give me two, then. Well, I can't think of any at the moment. All those women out there and we got married. Well, you're happy enough, aren't you? The trouble with me is I'm never satisfied. I feel like breaking things up, changing the status quo. It's too straightforward. What is? My life. Get up, go to work, earn money, come home, play with the kids, bottle of wine, nice meal. Go to bed, read, 12 o'clock lights off, go to sleep. Sex on bank holidays and birthdays. Visit family, go to supermarket, come home, cut lawn, watch cricket, bottle of wine, nice meal, go to bed. Pass go, collect 200 pounds, buy house. Sometimes I just want to break it up a bit. Sounds a bit like my life. Does it? Have you ever cheated on Gail? No. Once. A while ago. <laughs> Would you again? I feel like I already have. <laughs> One night at a disco. Well, what about you? No, never. Don't believe you. Self-abuse has always been my style. It's safer. You uh, ever paid for it? What? Have you ever paid for sex? I know we're sharing a room, Andy, but let's keep some things private. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Have you? Not directly. <laughs> so, um, what about Karen and Trish? Oh, leave it. They're good company. No, no, come on. Let's, let's hit the golf course. Night. Patio area at the Hotel Rossimar. Trish is sitting. She has been waiting alone for some time. Karen enters. She is dressed up for the night. They're not in bar. Might have gone. Obviously. What do you think? I think we've been stood up. Are you sure he said he'd take us out? I can't remember, to be honest. Oh, right. So we might have been sat here for two hours for nothing. Well, it's relaxing. I'm bleeding starving. What did they say? You were there as well. Do you reckon they're married? Dunno. Nice sandals. Hey. My one had nice sandals. Seem nice though. Andy enters. He's Where? wearing summer gear, slightly prudish. Where the bloody hell are they? Oh, here they are. <laughs> Hiya. Uh, we've been looking all over for you two. Have you? Well, you can't have looked far. I've been sat at the bar for an hour. No, uh, we've been talking to a bloke about the bullfights. <laughs> Tr trying to get tickets. Oh, no. I hate fights. Sheepishly, Tom enters. Rather casual looking with a slightly ruddy face. Hiya, you're right. Did you say you'd take us out or not? Who? You. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't know whether... I mean, well, if you'd rather leave it... No, no, we're sat here. Sorry. You shouldn't stand people up. Didn't your mother ever tell you that? Well, no, that was one of the things she missed. Anyway, 
We forgive you, don't we, Trish? Is everybody okay for a drink? We've just got one. Yeah, we've had four. Waiting. Tom? I thought we were doing without tonight. I'll leave it then, shall I? How did you feel this morning? <laughs> Rough. <laughs> and me, my mouth. Ugh. Andy sits. It's awkward. Nobody knows what to say. So, uh, what are you two doing tonight then? Depends. Well, you're not going back down to Lennon's, are you? Might do. Might go and find two blokes to take us out. <laughs> Good luck. You've been golfing? I got a hole in one. Beginner's Ooh. luck. Hole in one with the first ball, but then, no. We went out on a pedalo. What's a pedalo? Well, you pedal it. Oh, yeah. You should have seen me trying to get on. Talk about funny. <laughs> I'll tell you what is funny. Oh, God, don't set her off. Did I tell you about our Trish? Not about our Trish. Did I tell you about our Tracy? Not that about your Tracy. I can't stand it. Our Tracy's at this party, right? I've heard this hundred times. And she needs to use the loo. Oh, I like those stories. And, and she's dying to go, right? And there's somebody on the loo. So she pops out into the garden and crouches down. Right, all done. Great, no problem. Anyway, about an hour later, she's dancing, right? And she can smell something. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway, she has a feel around and you'll never guess what. She's got a turd stuck down the back of her cowboy boots. <laughs> All bandit funny. <laughs> You're funny. She's sexy and you're funny. I thought funny was sexy. So did I. It can be. What are you then? <laughs> well, he's not funny. And he's not sexy. <laughs> Suddenly, Ray drunk and very red appears. He goes <clears throat> through the routine. <clears throat> Oddie! Oh, God. Oh, boy. Boy. Oddie! Oi! Oggy, oggy, oggy! Oi, oi, oi! What are you doing? Talking. Did you go to Wet and Wild? Did we hell? Do you want to? Test? Did you see me in Lennon's? I set fire to me air. <laughs> that, that was you, was it? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Just put butane on it and woo! <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, the Wet and Wild like? Wet and Wild. <laughs> Seen Scott? Uh, no. Hello, Tom. Ray mysteriously exits. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so are you both married? Was. She gave us the push. Both young, free and single. Well, free and single. I were married at 16. 16? What about you? Be married six years and live together. I wouldn't marry. Not again. You got kids? Not yet. Not yet? What are you playing at? We like practising. <laughs> what about you then? No. Kids? Not even married, sadly. Nobody would have him. <laughs> what about girlfriends? On and off. Nobody permanent. So, uh, are we having another drink or are we going down to Lennon's? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a miss. Oh! We're not good enough for you, is that it? Ray returns with a bottle of San Miguel, shouts... Oggy! Oi! Oggy! Oi! Oggy, oggy, oggy! Oi, oi, oi! Day, poolside. The weather is baking hot. Barbie is having a moment's relaxation. Scott enters with a football. You were asleep? I was. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, don't. <laughs> hello. Why didn't you go and fall off a window ledge or something? He stands and looks at her. Then he looks around. Fit, ain't you? I'll never hardly see the sun. I mean, that's why I'm here, aren't I? 
is it? Get some sun. Great. Yeah, get some sun on uh, my body. You've been abroad before? I've been to Malta. Did you enjoy it? Nah, it's shit. I remember that next time I'm picking results. <laughs> it's shit. You down in Lennon's last night? No, not last night. Why do you always go to Lennon's? Because it's really great. Oh, them two old blokes were down there. Off their heads. Really? <laughs> they think they're it. What were they doing? Dancing. Wow. Well, I thought you went to Penelope's. Oh, we did. Got stood up and all. Then went down to Lennon's and they were there. It's the lack of the draw. I mean, he's going in the pool, that one. Great. Andy enters with golf equipment. Oi, oi. Saw you last night. Yeah. What were you supposed to be doing? Uh, it was supposed to be the twist. <laughs> All right, okay. I need a drink. Scott exits. No golf? What's your handicap? Do you play? Actually, I'm, I'm quite good. Ooh. Scorching. Go in the pool. I'm sure if I hang about long enough, somebody will throw me in. <laughs> Do you play a lot of golf? Yeah. My dad plays golf. Oh, yeah. It's an old man sport, isn't it? <laughs> no comment. Tom enters. He is dressed in sports gear. He cannot take the heat. How was it? Unbearable. It's too hot. There's no air. Have a dip. Oh, I haven't got the body for a dip. <laughs> I've got more of a splash body. I have a splash then. I just found Gail again. Uh, are we an hour in front or an hour behind? In front. I'll see you guys later. Barbie exits. That's three times. <laughs> I mean, the answer machine isn't on or anything. It'll be all right. If there was anything uh, wrong, they'd let us know, wouldn't they? What about you on that dance floor, eh? <laughs> You're like a maniac. <laughs> you were the bloody maniac. If, if there was anything wrong, they'd let us know, wouldn't they? What about you? I'm not, I mean, you, you nearly ate her. Oh, come on, I'm just chilling out. Well, yeah, well, you're chilling out. It's putting my nerves on edge. It's not so much that I mind you lying, it's that I've got to lie for you. Last night, that Karen was asking me all sorts about you. Like what? Like, why didn't you ever get married? Did you never have anyone? And, 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 and what did you say? Well, well, what could I say? Well, you didn't tell her the truth, did you? No. I said there was somebody else. Well, that, that, that's all right then. <laughs> but she died. What? It just came out. She died? I just, I, you know. You're joking. I was, I was just saying anything. You bloody were, weren't you? Well, I don't like all this, you know. I mean, what about Lynn? Listen, me and Lynn have always had an open marriage. Well, does she know that? Karen enters. She is wearing a bathing costume that is cut very tight and daring. Oh, 94 it is. Aren't you going on a pedalo today, Tom? Not today. What about golf? <laughs> no. Beginner's luck, I'm afraid. I had to stop him playing. There was no green left. <laughs> yeah, yeah there, was, there was just turf everywhere. Who bloody dangerous he is. Trish enters. She has a migraine. She feels rough. She sits near the poolside. Oh, no. I feel bloody awful. It was your fault I was trying to keep up with you. <laughs> You'll never do it. Drinking's my specialist subject. Help me, Pom Tom. Well, have another drink. Do you fancy one of them iced teas? Do you? We could share one if you like. Shall I get us a tea and then we'll sit in the shade? Yeah, get her in the shade. Shall we go over and sit where it's cooler? This heat's no good for me. I'll come with you and I'll read. Oh, thanks, Tom. No problem. Ain't he sweet? They depart. Make a right couple. <laughs> He's got an admirer there. Yeah. And Ma Brown. Yeah. Well, going brown. <laughs> Am I L? God, it's hot, isn't it? Mind you, if it were pissing down, we'd be complaining, wouldn't we? We would. Never satisfied, are we? Very true. Human nature. The grass is always greener. It is. Is he all right? Hey. 
He seems a bit... Oh, he, he's like that. Can't enjoy himself. Funny, isn't he? <laughs> he's the funny one. I'm the sexy one. He's nice. Soft. He thinks too much. Worries. Emotional, you know. Up one minute and then... Oof. Down in the dumps. Karen is applying suntan oil to her body. It's quite sexy and Andy is watching. She always goes for the wrong soul. I mean, he's married, isn't he? Well, uh, you know. <laughs> but you've not had it easy, have you? Me? He told me. I don't like to talk about it. Your wife, I mean, sounds awful. It was. He said she choked. Eh? Choked. Yeah. On a fishbone. That's right. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Couldn't you do anything? Well, I, uh, I patted her back. <laughs> but I mean, uh, what can you do when your number's up? He said it were violent. Awful. There she was, choking. What could I do? Oh, it must have changed your life. Well, I can't eat fish anymore. Oh, no. Cut me up. Listen, we're all scarred, darling. We've all got skeletons in the cupboards, and those that say they haven't are bleeding liars. Karen needs help reaching her back. You couldn't give us an hand, could you, Chuck? Just on me shoulders. Andy crosses and takes some suntan lotion in his palm. He is nervous about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a long time since I've done this. Oh, that's nice. Is that good? Oh, oh, a bit firmer, darling. Oh, yeah, that's good, yeah. Up here? Oh, my neck. Oh, you're good, aren't you? You could do it all day for me. Well, there's uh, nothing else to do. <laughs> bit of tire, yeah. No problem. <laughs> You've got nice hands. Yeah. Cultured. My husband's hands were like great slabs. He couldn't control them. Do under me costume. That's where I burn. Under? <laughs> right. <laughs> he applies oil lower down her back. Oh, that's ace. Ta. And he kisses her neck. Hot. In it. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's absolutely boiling. <laughs> he is nibbling her neck. She drops the back of her head into his groin. night five days later tom sits alone he passes the time trish enters dressed up for the night's barbecue what do you think to this all right for a barbecue isn't it it looks good that <laughs> i'm staying with a more traditional boring man's outfit oh i like that outfit so what did you think of the bullfight did you enjoy it a waste of money well, it didn't cost us anything andy paid yeah what, what time is it? You're not bored with me, are you? No, no. Oh, I thought... Oh, you're joking, aren't you? I know, I can go on a bit. I'm a bit bleeding dull at times. I wouldn't say dull. What would you say, then? Well, um, how about funny? <sighs> you're worse than Andy, you are. Funny but a dog, he said. It's like this bloke on the plane, he was trying to get past us. And... I say, oh, look out, and he's like, excuse me, ugly. I was like, oh, well, thanks, Baldy. You're not a dog. I'm not drop-dead good-looking, am I? Or would you want to be? No. It's too late now, anyway. What's she like? Who? Your wife. Oh, God, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Where'd you start? She's, she's bright. She's very bright. She's, she's kind, moody, 
witty, attractive, sensible, loving, giving, homely, ambitious, doubting, insecure. Who isn't? Bright. You've said bright. Hi. Uh, trusting. I only asked you a simple question. Oh. <laughs> uh, cuddly toy, electric kettle, whirlpool washer, microwave. <laughs> Sheep on it. Well, not hilarious like you. What am I? Well, I don't really know you, do I? Do a list thing. I can't. Just make it up. Well, what, what's your ex like? Well, honestly, couldn't you work that out for yourself? I mean, Dale. You weren't a surgeon, that's for sure. Dale. I didn't notice it at the time. Then every time I said his name, I just burst out laughing. I mean, Dale. Well, how would you describe him? Ooh, a Dale, a male, a fail, a jail, and a bail, and then an in and out of jail again. You. What? What was the sex life like? What? Oh, I'm a journalist. I get used to asking difficult questions. Well, it were rough and ready. Rough and ready, eh? <laughs> I didn't like it like that, really. In fact, I didn't like it at all. I think it's overrated. I'd much rather have a good laugh. I mean, you can have a good laugh anywhere, couldn't you? And you wouldn't have to wear a condom. <laughs> Mind you, it'd be funny if you did. It'd be a brand new meaning for stand-up comedy. <laughs> you must know, you're... What? You're very... Oh, you think I'm very... We uh, spent the whole week together and you think I'm very... Words are shit, aren't they? Some are. I was, I was just thinking I, that I really like you. I know that, Tom Tom. Is it that obvious? No. Well, well, I wondered if it'd be all right if I kissed you. <laughs> I think you'd better not. Right. I mean, I've never been asked before. No? I think you'd better leave it. Well, I've always been shit at kissing anyway. <laughs> you can't be that bad, can you? Go on, let's have a seat. Just kiss my cheek. He does. Yeah, a bit sloppy. <laughs> and kissing weird. Oh, making love is weirder. Is it? I think. You're not very touchy, are you? You know, physical. Well, I don't know. I mean, we've been together for a week now and you've not even touched me. Not even tried to. So where have uh, Andy and Karen been today? <laughs> well, she said they were going golfing <laughs> and if you believe that you'll believe anything well we ain't got round to any of the heavy stuff yet how'd you know she tells me everything shall we have a drink while we wait well i must say i'm looking forward to tonight so am i it'll be brilliant three thousand raving maniacs at a barbecue in the mountains i bet it's a riot Andy and Karen enter. He is dripping in aftershave. He is already slightly pissed. Karen is dressed up. Are we ready then? How much bloody aftershave have you put on? A bottle full. What is it? Blue Stratos? I can't smell it. It's Armani, actually. But the bottle slipped. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, before I forget... <clears throat> Passe usted, por favor, I el telefono el recado. What? There's a telephone message at reception. From Gail? Either her or the Queen. <laughs> What's it say? What am I? Psychic? Is it urgent? I don't know. Well, I'll just nip off and see what it is. I'd, I'd better just nip off and it's probably nothing. Tom exits. Don't be too long. I want to get some photos. Look at him. Off like a shot, that's marriage for you. Are we having some photos at the barbie? Uh, 
don't take any pictures of me. <laughs> I'll break it. Ray enters, smarter than we have seen him before. Hey, Sunbeam, take a picture of us, will you? What with? Just use your phone, you fit git. Shouldn't we wait for Tom? No, come on, he'll have one after. Uh, don't post it on any socials. <laughs> I never take a good picture. No, no, it'll be nice to keep that. Right, brilliant. Smile then. Or say, sex. <laughs> Come on, get some spirit into it. You look like a set of crinklies. I'll gob him in a minute. Andy is grabbed by Karen and Trish. They pose thumbs up for the camera. Ray takes the picture. Brilliant, that. <laughs> they could use that for next year's brochure. Why? Don't they want anyone to come? <laughs> what? <laughs> All ready for tonight, then? Yeah. Got your chap line ready. What is it? Oggy, oggy, oggy. It will never catch on. That's not my chat up line. Oh, right. I don't have one, to be honest. Have you? 101. Give us one, then. Get your own. A very attractive and smart-looking Scott enters with Barbie. Oh, look at these. <laughs> Join the queue, ladies. It's uh, Barbie first, and then if there's anything left, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll have what's left. <laughs> well then, Barbie, are you ready for the Barbie? <laughs> Got some tickets, then? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I'll show you what drinking is tonight, lads. Just stand back and watch. Oh, go on then, Grandad. Not very nice. Tom enters. I can't get through. It's bloody engaged. What What was the message, Andy? I gave you the bloody message. Yes, but I mean, you know what Gail's like when... She's probably onto your Lynn. Who's Lynn? My sister! <laughs> Are we moving it? Well, do, you, do you think I should phone back? Oh, bloody leave it. Come on. Morning bright light breaks. Tom is sat on a lounger. Andy enters. He is half-dressed, shirts open and loose. He is absolutely tired out. He is strangely elated. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> oh my God. What a night. <laughs> Guess you had a good night then. You like the Borges. The Borges indeed. Did you sleep out here? There's only one bloody key. Oh, sorry. What happened to you? What? I had to phone Gail, didn't I? Jesus, you left the biggest orgy on earth to phone your bird. <laughs> I knew there was something. I just wanted to talk to her. And? My mum's had a funny do. Oh. It's not serious, anyway. So I just, I didn't feel like coming back. No problem. But, oh! Oh, what a night! <laughs> <laughs> what time did it finish? No idea, but I've never seen anything like it. At the end, everybody was either naked, topless, or pissed. <laughs> Which were you? All three. I bet. <laughs> Andy stops and looks at Tom. You're gonna freak. Why, where have you been? Oh dear. Oh, don't tell me. I've done the naughty stuff. No. I've done the bizzo. <laughs> Who with? Who do you think? Well, sounds like it could have been more than one. Karen! Oh, yeah. Where? Her bedroom. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stupid. I was careful. Careful is not doing it. It was okay. I, I don't want to know. I mean, Lynn's great, but... Why? Why did you do it? Eh? Why? It was an accident. How'd you do it by accident? It just was. No, no, I'm sorry. An accident is three killed on the motorway. An accident is, you know, egg on your tie. An accident is not shagging a d divorcee in from bloody pharmaceuticals. Y you don't just fall into the missionary position. We did. I knew you'd have done the full bizzo. Y you disgust me. I'm a slag, aren't I? I, I don't want to know any more about it. Trish wasn't there, you know. Well, where was she then? I don't know, but she wasn't there. Right. In fact, 
I don't think she came back on the coach. I think she said she was uh, going off with somebody. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's fine. That's great. If, if she wants to do that, then, then lovely. That's lovely. Shit. I feel like, I feel like a 13 year old. I do. And it's brilliant. <laughs> a bedraggled Ray enters. Want to play shots in? No. Oh, we can play two on to one if you want. I don't want. Oh, good, good night last night, eh? Ray drifts off. What are we going to tell Gail and Lynn? Nothing. So you want me to lie to you again? Just keep it buttoned. Chlamydia is real, you know, Andy. Oh, shut up. I saw you put your wedding ring in the safe deposit box. I always do that. I knew this is going to happen. You had it planned from the first night, haven't you? No. You did. I saw you watching Trish and Karen from the bloody pool, from, from out the window. Bloody hell, this happens every time you come away, doesn't it? Lynn doesn't understand me. <laughs> it's no wonder, is there? He's like a bloody fridge with me, man. Talk about frigid. It's like making love to a corpse. You're a sad bloke, Andy. The poolside, day, burning hot. Trish and Karen are lounging by the pool. Both of them are wearing sunglasses. Karen behaves quite loudly and nonchalantly. You sent any cards? Oh, I haven't had time. Well, I mean, you know, you and Andy. Oh, come off it, Trish. You and Tom have been playing Romeo and Juliet all week. I reckon Andy's married. How do you reckon that then? Underpants. Yeah. Very bad underpants. Oh, it's always a sign. What a liar then. Andy kept his socks on. Awful. No oh. style, know what I mean? Oh, no that, control. That wouldn't do it for me, that. Kills it. Is this what we came for? We came for sun, didn't we? Yeah. Well, we got that, didn't we? Yeah, we got that all right. Andy enters. He looks and feels ill. Ooh, he's here. The oldest swinger in town. Andy sits. It is very awkward between them. Right. Hi. How we doing? Yeah, yeah. Where do you get to? That's for me to know, and for you to... Very disappointed, my mate. Tears, everything. Where is it? Probably on the phone. Listen, you don't fancy a bit of a walk, do you? I fancy walking off this head. <laughs> well, go on then. Twist me arm. I'll treat you to a coffee. Andy helps Karen from the lounger. It is awkward. We see how difficult they are physically with each other. As they stand, Tom enters. He is bright and cheerful, as if completely untouched by recent events. Morning! Oh, the party pooper. Sorry, but look, you know what it's like. Right. Have fun. Karen and Andy exit. Trish and Tom watch them depart. Tom sits, reads the paper. Tired. You must be. I'm all right. They reckon it'll be 90 again today. That's hot then. Yeah. Home tomorrow. That's right. Raining in England. Tomorrow Good. night. Hmm? Back to reality. That's about it. Hmm. Have a nice life. Yeah. Good. And you? I'll try. Look, I'm sorry about last night. There's nothing to be sorry for, is there? Oh, it, it just wasn't really my scene. You had to call your wife, didn't you? Yeah, 
my mum tied herself out. She, she, has, she has these funny do's with her heart. It's hospital job, I'm afraid. She's all right. Gail just needed to talk to me. Anyway, I suppose it was safer. What? Well, if I'd stayed, anything might have happened. We'd, we'd have only made fools of ourselves. Oh, well, I had a brilliant time. Well, good. Met a bloke. Was he nice? Yeah, he was a nice bloke. Mind you, I suppose that's all I'm good for, isn't it? Going out, having too much to drink and then picking somebody up. Well, if that's what you want. It's not what I want. Well, you could have fooled me. Oh, you've got a bleeding nerve, haven't you? Trish, you're wonderful, you are. <sighs> Thanks for that. Look, I am sorry. Thanks for being sorry. You could have come back with me if you'd wanted. How could I? I didn't know what to do. Well, it didn't take you long to find somebody else, did it? Mind you, like, like you said, it's probably all you're good for. Oh, that's right. A quick lay is all I'm good for. You said it. Well, at least I've got the bottle to do it. That's all right. It scares me shitless. You know what? I bet it does in all... Look, this is very childish. Go. Please. I'm waiting for somebody. Oh, I see. Scott enters, brash and confident. All right then, drum man. Hey. Tom Tom. <laughs> All right, Trish. Yeah. Good night, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're going down for some breakfast. Want to come? What's wrong with the hotel? We want a proper English job. Set you up for the day, that will. <laughs> Sausage and uh, black pudding. <laughs> You'll be laughing. Are well, you going back tomorrow, aren't you? Uh, us, yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, shit. And I didn't get to throw you in the pool. Oh, pity. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Scott exits. Right then. Right. Trish makes to go. Are you going for breakfast? No. <laughs> no. Well, well, I thought you and him and... Oh, give me a break. Me and him. What do you think I am? I'm not that hard up, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought, well, God knows what. I mean, Trish... Trish, I think you're... Yeah, you think I'm very. Anyway, I'm going for a walk down the front. I'm serious, you know. If you're ever down our way, look me up. We'll have a laugh. And that's all. I mean it. A laugh. Yeah? Just, well, not even half a bizzo. <laughs> she pecks Tom on the cheek. Anyway, there you go, one all. I'll, I'll, I'll come with you, shall I? What's the point, Tom Tom? Oh, I'll, I'll come for a laugh, you know, <laughs> just for a laugh, shall I? She exits slowly. Tom follows her. The poolside. The following night. Ray is sitting by himself. He appears to be down. Barbie enters. Are you coming down to Lennon's? Dunno. Are you okay? No. Why? My head's killing me. That'll teach you. It usually doesn't burn so much. I thought you were enjoying it. I hate it at Lennon's. Why? Because you always take us there. Are you getting a backhander or something? No. Oh, yeah. Well, just the odd drink, that's all. Oh, get off. You're making a right packet, Albert. Who, me? Would I do anything like that? Anyway. What? I can't stand it. I can't sleep at night because it's too hot, 
the noise from the disco is sending me around the bend. The women ignore me and I haven't worn any of the clothes that I brought. I just can't stand it. Well, it is fairly hectic. Didn't you expect it to be like this? Yeah. This is my fifth club holiday. I always come to Benidorm and I never meet anybody. Well, maybe next time? No. Why? This is the worst holiday I've ever had. But how do you think I feel when you say something like that? Yeah, but you're getting paid. You've had a good time, haven't you? I'm looking for something, though. Same. Join the club. I wish I was going back. Well, Tom and Andy will be getting on their way now. Why don't you go and swap them? I think Andy wants. don't think Andy wants to stop. I would, but it's a Manchester flight. Anyway, I thought you were big mates with Trish and Karen. <laughs> nah. Well, they'll be down at Lennon's bar later. How, how long have you been out here? A long time. <laughs> Don't you ever meet anybody? Is that an offer? Uh, no. Oh, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Too late. It is, it, it is an offer. I asked, but obviously you are not interested. It's an offer, honest. Holiday romances never last, do they? I don't know, do I? I've never had one. Scott, enter slightly drunk. Right, come on. What? Down to Lennon's. Nah. What, why not? It's boring. Listen, I'm in. <laughs> you are, but what about me? Well, get down there, Ray, and shake your body. I'm in. I don't think you're in. Oh, come on, man. We'll string them along for a laugh. They're too old. Uh, no way. They've got experience. <laughs> Barbie, are you coming? Yeah, might as well. See? We're on holiday, you twat. I know. So let's go and have a good time. I'm <laughs> going to enjoy it if it fucking kills me. I'm going to do what I want, right? <laughs> I mean, right, Barbie? Right. If I want to throw somebody in the pool, I will. If I want a snog, I'll get one. If I want to get blasted off my face, that's okay? Okay? Yeah. I know, but... But, but, no buts, no buts, no excuses, no wimpy buts. I'm tired of buts. I get buts at home. I'll tell you what you should do. You should take up golf. That'd suit you. They're not interested in us, though. Ray. Raymondo. We work, right? I mean, we lift crates all day, every day. And we get paid shit. And then what happens? Then we die. And when we're dead, we can't say, oh, I wish I was back in Benidorm. I know. So get up your ass off of that chair and let's get down to Lennon's and do something. We are doers, golf man. Did you know that? We are doers. Come on. Come on. I mean, no more talk now. Up and off. Let's get down there and pull. <laughs> hey, Barbie. Give us a kiss. No. I'll see you down there, all right? Um, it should be a good night. I mean, who knows, Ray? Anything can happen. Barbie exits. They both watch her go. Scott is ignited once more. Oh, yes! Yes! Hear that? Hear that, you spineless golfing git? I'm in! I think I'm in! We are in! I'm in! Maybe later. That's all you need. A maybe. A maybe is as good as a yes. Is it? That's all we've got. We may be in with Karen and Trish, and we may be in with Barbie. Oh, I love it! I love this country! Oh, I love this sunny Spain. <laughs> Viva España! Oh, shit. <laughs> sing Ray. Sing Ray. Sing Ray. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> we are back to the first setting. 
Tom, Gail, Andy and Lynn are enjoying the dinner party. It is a few days later. Candles burn, everyone is laughing. Tom pours himself another large glass of wine. <laughs> so how's your mum? Oh. What a fiasco, honestly. <laughs> what happened? So the last report has it that my dad was on the loo in his usual place and he was constipated. He hadn't been for a fortnight. Anyway, apparently he was pushing too hard and passed out, <laughs> collapsed against the toilet door. My mother freaked, heard the noise. He started our heart racing, so she fainted. Then when Susan passed moments later, she found the two of them unconscious with three ton of shit in the loo and now they're not talking for another 40 years. <laughs> and they sworn an oath of silence. <laughs> So, uh, what's new, Gorgeous? Mm. Wine and dine by half the humanities department, but apart from that, it's more of the same. <laughs> we went to Alton Towers. Have you been? Typical. Once my back's turned, she whizzes off with my credit card. <laughs> Sweet revenge. So go on then. What? What was it like? The golf, you mean? They didn't meet a soul, according to Andy. Is that right, Tom? We did meet two women, actually. Did we? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> it's all a blur. There, there was Barbie. That's one. Oh, and, and Trish. Mm. That's right, those two, yeah. Oh, and Karen. That's three. <laughs> yeah, they were nice, actually. It's, it's all a haze to me. <laughs> don't worry, mate. I've got it all stored up here. I've got a memory like an elephant. I don't forget anything. I can't remember much of it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Tired. We should go soon. <laughs> Surely you can remember Karen. Hey? Well, Karen. Well, uh, I, I do. Yeah, I thought you might. I think we'd better think about going. Yeah, you must remember Karen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, bit of an alchemist. Oh, it's, it's coming to me now. Yeah, yeah work, worked in rubber. That's right. Quite, quite a shy woman. Uh, Trish's mate. Yeah, liked skinny dipping. <laughs> Did she? I think we should go, <laughs> or we might hear something we don't want to. Yeah, and I might hear how much you spent on my credit card. <laughs> Come on then, let's hit the road. Take care, go. See you soon. They stand and begin to leave. Andy kisses Gail. See ya. Well, we can talk about it another time if you want. We, we could probably get some photos sent over. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, mate. Kisses all round. Andy shakes Tom's hand and hugs him. <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> We should go away more often. Yeah, great. I can't wait. I love this man. Lynn exits. I'll call you. I love that man. That man is a god. Andy exits. Tom and Gail sit in silence. So what's all this about Karen and Trish? Karen? Karen was one for the trophy wall. He, he must be at it every time he goes out there. Don't tell me, I don't want to know. So what about Trish? Trish? Yes? Trish was funny. All right. I really like Trish, actually. Oh? She's great. She made me... She made me feel sad. Oh, I see. She, she made me think. Well, about you about kids, about, about a lot of things. I hope you didn't talk to her about me. Why? What happened? Nothing. I don't believe you. Nothing happened. You let me down once, Tom, and I don't believe you. Look, it could have, but it didn't. I fought it. Oh, wow, what do you want, a blue Peter badge? I felt comfortable with her, that's all. You fancied her, you mean? Well, I did, yeah. I thought so. But more than that. So you had feelings for her? Well, yeah, sort of. Great, great. You had feelings for her because she was funny. What, was she a clown? 
and I've stopped being funny. I guess that's what you're getting at here. I'll tell you what, I'll put on a snorkel and some flippers and dance around. Will that make you feel sad? Hey. Okay. Are you in love with her? It's not like that. She sleeps with somebody, which is bad enough, but you, no, you have to go the whole hog. You're not concerned with mere physical attraction. Oh no, that's not enough for you, is it? You know what I'm like, I'm, I'm pathetic. I mean, emotionally pathetic. I'm, I'm soft, Gail, reasonable, understanding, educated and soft. But it happens every time you get to know another woman. But I feel sorry for her. I mean, what's she got? I don't know, like, I feel sorry for her because she hasn't got anything. And she's lost and, and she's having to live life all by herself. Oh, stop it, Tom, I'm crying. <laughs> You're not hearing me. Aren't I? What? Am I with the right woman, Gail? Do you think after all this time, am I with the right woman? Only you know that. Well, I don't know. Don't you think I think that sometimes? Are we all fickle? Do you want to see her again? Give up. Do you? No, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Be honest. I'm trying to be. I knew when I saw you, you're off with me. I'm not off with you, I'm just, I'm just sad. You can't be with everyone, you know. I know. I know. You're 38, Tom. You just had your first holiday romance. I know, and it, it's killing me. Just look at your mum and dad, never strayed. Never even contemplated it. 40 years. Forty years. Will that be us? I hope so. Gail continues to clear the table. She begins to exit. Bloody hell, it's, it's obscene. I know. Gail exits. Tom goes to pour himself more wine. The bottle is empty. <laughs>